Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Monday that Iran lied about not pursuing nuclear weapons, and continued to preserve and expand its nuclear weapons knowledge after signing a 2015 deal with global powers. Iran's leaders repeatedly deny ever pursuing nuclear weapons, said Netanyahu. Tonight I'm here to tell you one thing, Iran lied, first, Iran lied about never having a nuclear weapons program, but 100,000 secret files prove it did. Second, even after the deal, Iran continued to preserve and expand its nuclear weapons knowledge for future use, Netanyahu said. Third, Iran lied again in 2015 when it didn't come clear to the IAEA, International Atomic Energy Agency, as required by the nuclear deal. The Israeli leader spoke in English and showed pictures and videos purporting to be showing historic secret Iranian nuclear facilities, as well as Iranian documents and plans to develop atomic weapons. Live broadcast, a special address by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu less than ahref equals https colon slash slash t dot co slash gll 2 p 2 e greater than https colon slash slash t dot co slash gll 2 p 2 e less than a greater than asserted that such activities had continued after the 2015 deal that was meant to curb Iranian capabilities. After signing the nuclear deal in 2015, Iran intensified its efforts to hide its secret files, he said. In 2017, Iran moved its nuclear weapons files to a highly secret location in Tehran. Netanyahu referred to a secret Iranian nuclear project, codenamed Ahmad, which he said had been shelved in 2003, but he said work in the field had continued. Iran's dangerous escalation, U.S. President Donald Trump has long criticized the 2015 agreement, under which world powers lifted economic sanctions on Iran in return for curbs to its nuclear program. Trump has threatened to pull out of the agreement in the coming weeks unless it is renegotiated. Netanyahu said he expected Trump would do the right thing in reviewing the Iran deal. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo left. It is greeted by Netanyahu ahead of a news conference at the Ministry of Defense in Tel Aviv on Sunday. The Associated Press, Netanyahu met in Tel Aviv on Sunday with new U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and both men talked tough about Iran, we remain deeply concerned about Iran's dangerous escalation of threats toward Israel and the region, said Pompeo. Netanyahu said, I think the greatest threat to the world and to our two countries, and to all countries, is the marriage of militant Islam with nuclear weapons, and specifically the attempt of Iran to acquire nuclear weapons, Netanyahu also discussed Iran by telephone with Trump over the weekend, I hope Trump comes to his senses Israel has long opposed the agreement while Washington's major European allies have urged the Trump administration not to abandon it and argue that Iran is abiding by its terms. The head of Iran's atomic energy organization said on Monday that Iran has the technical capability to enrich uranium to a higher level than it could before the multinational deal was reached, technically, we are fully prepared to enrich uranium higher than we used to produce before the deal was reached, I hope Trump comes to his senses and stays in the deal, Ali Akbar Salih he was quoted by Iranian state television as saying. Israel is widely believed to be the only nuclear-armed state in the Middle East, though it neither confirms nor denies possessing atomic weapons.